Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, where everything you're about to hear and see has been done in one take. I am your host, the One Take Man. Today's video, the last of the year, is going to be a review of Enter the Dragon, by uh, directed by Richard Slaus, or Slaus if I'm not mistaken, and uh, but primarily created by, uh, or primarily created or masterminded by uh, Bruce Lee. I wanted to talk about this movie for a couple of reasons. The first one was curiosity. I uh, I wanted to see uh, how uh, Bruce Lee's uh, vanity project more or less actually uh, you know actually turned out. Second of all, as a uh, tribute or a follow up, given that uh, last year I reviewed a uh, a biography of Bruce Lee. And uh, and uh, given this year is the marks the fiftieth anniversary of his uh, uh, maybe anniversary is not the the right word but I'm gonna go with it anyway. Given this year is the fiftieth anniversary uh, of his uh, of his death, I thought I would uh, thought I would uh, talk about it at least to some extent. Uh, and the third reason is I uh, had something I had something I wanted to. Uh, I uh, wanted to uh, find out about this movie because I know that the uh, plot of this movie is built more or less around a uh, a uh, martial arts tournament, and I wanted to see how well that uh, particular tournament is integrated within the uh, uh, within the plot itself. So, and because given I have a, a personal project that is somewhat similar, the answer to my uh, personal question about how well the plot is integrated is that it's not really well integrated at all. It would be perhaps more correct to call it an, uh, a martial arts exhibition rather than a uh, rather than a tournament, given there is no method given to assess uh, how far along the comp uh, uh, the competition has gone, or how or how well the competitors themselves are um, you know are doing over the. Uh, you know, within the uh, uh, general contest, the only way the only way I really can say is that if you see uh, a character fight in you know you know fight in the first day and win, you're it's safe to assume that uh, that character will also fight in the um, you know in the next day. <clears throat> I think there was a I think there might have been a prize associated with uh, winning this tournament, but I don't really recall any any being discussed. And even if it was, well. All I can say is I think that really show, uh, shows just how much the uh, the movie itself actually cares about the uh, uh, actually cares about the tournament. If it was so, if it was so underemphasized that I can't that I can't recall it. Anyway, my uh, my personal issues with the movie aside, what else can I say about the uh, second movie I reviewed this year to have been included in the uh, National Film Registry? Well, the TLDW for this review is. This movie is iconic, if nothing else, and for for good reason actually, because it has a it, it is aesthetically uh, quite pleasing. So it has so it has satisfying aesthetic quality. Its technical quality is also satisfying. I would all I would quite easily call it undeniable, and also the uh, fighting scenes themselves are done, you know, are done quite well. And they do a great job at catching at catching the uh, attention of the uh, viewers wherever and whenever it is uh, uh, it is necessary. So if all you're looking for is an uh, old school kung fu movie with a diverse cast, and for some reason you haven't seen this movie yet, then consider this your sign from the universe or whatever that you should uh, that you should go watch it. Anyway, with uh, that out of the way, it's time I delve a little bit deeper into this movie. Uh, the plot of the movie, in brief, follows uh, three characters as they uh, as they make their way to and uh, spend their time at in an island fortress where a uh, uh, where an organizer uh, has set up a martial arts uh, tournament. The first of these characters is. Uh, Lee, played by uh, Bruce Lee, a martial arts instructor who has been uh, 
called to the uh, invited to the Shaolin Temple. I'm pretty sure he's actually a former Shaolin himself, though I'm not sure if the movie itself specifies it one way or another. While he is at the temple, uh, he is uh, uh, he is told that uh, he is told or asked to accept the invitation to a uh, martial arts uh, tournament. And the reason he is told to accept that is because said tournament is held by a uh, former Shaolin who has um, who has since turned to a uh, life of crime. Uh, before he uh, before he goes on his uh, uh, on his way, however, to the tournament, he is um, given uh, further instruction and information from a British law enforcement agency, because that is the. <laughs> Uh, because that is the scope uh, the uh, uh, at which this at which this uh, uh, former Shaolin monk, aka Han, has uh, uh, you know actually conducts his uh, uh, his operations. The other uh, the other two characters this movie focuses upon are Williams and uh, Roper, two former Vietnam War veterans and friends who. Uh, who have decided to accept an uh, invitation to this tournament for their uh, for their own reasons. It is it is actually only when they are on their way to their tournament that they actually uh, that they actually uh, discover each other. Um, and yeah, wh what uh, goes on once they actually reach the island? Well, obviously, obviously, all, all of these characters end up fighting. Uh, whom they fight and when it is that they fight, I will leave up to the audience to discover. Uh, I thought, now, now that I, and, okay, uh, edge information out of the way, it's time I delved a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit deeper into this martial arts movie, starting with perhaps the most important aspect of it, the actual, uh, fight scenes. Fight scenes are choreographed by, uh, Bruce Lee himself, and that, uh, very much shows within their, uh, within their quality, because they are, uh, they are, they are very well done, very smooth. There is very little movement wasted, and simultaneously, each uh, each hit uh, comes across as both crunchy and uh, impactful, fully uh, 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 fully uh, imparting upon the audience an impression of the menace that the characters themselves uh, both have to confront and are capable of uh, exuding. That is also assisted by some uh, by some very well placed sound effects, which, aside from a few uh, duds here and there, do a great job at imparting that uh, you know that impression of power to the um, uh, to the audience. If I, if my voice is a little rough, uh, sorry, it's been a it's been a long day. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, Outside of the outside of the tournament itself, there are various other uh, fighting scenes, uh, fighting scenes as well, and uh, and uh, their uh, their choreography as well as the uh, settings within which they uh, uh, take place uh, do a uh, do a do a good job at uh, character at uh, characterizing the uh, people involved, at uh, showcasing the uh, the conditions. Uh, philosophies and goals which have led to uh, which have uh, shaped their lives in various ways. Uh, Lee's particular philosophy uh, when it comes to martial arts, aka the art of fighting without fighting, is uh, showcased quite well throughout the uh, you know throughout the movie. However, however, it is not the only however it is not the only way uh, to conduct martial arts, which is uh, which is displayed. Somewhat obviously, perhaps. Um, <clears throat> outside of uh, outside of fighting scenes, uh, I have to say that the uh, set design in general and all the backdrops employed within this movie are, uh, you know, are done quite well, and they do a, and they once again uh, contribute a lot to the uh, feel. Of this uh, of this movie, they don't just they don't just they don't just make up its look. They also showcase, you know, what being within that what being within that setting and uh, participating within it uh, actually means and what it actually you know brings forth. <clears throat> uh, 
the island fortress itself is given um, um, most of the attention of this movie. It has to be, uh, it has to be said, and uh, and when it does, it provides a first of all uh, plenty of good opportunities for various action sequences, and secondly, it also does a great job at uh, showcasing the menace that uh, the main villain Han uh, represents. That being said, there are some aspects of this movie that aren't as uh, uh, that, that aren't as uh, interesting or as well done. the uh, The plot of the movie itself is uh, quite um, is quite threadbare. Yet simultaneously, it is also uh, overladen, with each character having their own distinctive um, their own distinctive justifications and stakes uh, for uh, in regards to why it is that they decide to participate. However. Uh, it is quite rare that these stakes actually feature uh, to a sizable degree within the uh, uh, within within the movie itself and within their um, and, and within their uh, motivations for uh, uh, for going for going through the uh, for going through the plot. I will, however, I will, however, say that uh, I appreciate the fact that this movie utilizes the. Uh, opportunities present uh, present within its runtime to present uh, character development, because I think for the most part that that is actually done quite well. Another thing that, uh, however, there is another thing that I am less than pleased with, namely, uh, namely various uh, aesthetic choices, which might have been appealing for uh, contemporary audiences, but I think modern audiences. Uh, would not be would not would not particularly be uh, interested in them. So while certain aspects of its uh, visual style have aged quite well, others not so much. Overall, uh, in spite of some deceptive marketing choices uh, surrounding this movie, um, it uh, it is there. There are very few features of it that actually that actually that viewers are likely to actually miss, and. Which allows them to, which allows this movie to build a, uh, you know, build or establish a strong, if at times disjointed, uh, impression within their, uh, you know, within their rem remembrance of it. My final rating for Enter the Dragon is a three out of five. And that was my review. Thank you for uh, your attention. Assuming you, uh, assuming you enjoyed it. Please uh, like the video and maybe even share it wherever you think other people will also uh, like the video. If there is anything you'd like to add to the movie itself or to my review of it, that's what the comment section is for. And if you want to see when my next video gets released, well then uh, please subscribe. And ideally also ring the bell or do whatever else YouTube will ask of you in order to uh, keep you notified. I also have a main channel where I talk about uh, various book-related and literature topics, a link to which you can find in the description down below, right past my other social media links, which I'll suggest you check out, should you choose to. Additionally, you have the option of supporting me on uh, Patreon as well, where depending on the level at which you pledge, you'll be, you will be able to, you will receive uh, various perks, such as, uh, for example, early access to videos and scripts, both for this channel and the aforementioned main one. Until next time, I have been the One Take Man.